it's so much work that goes into a marriage and making it what it is and, and where you get to that space where y'all know what it is. It's no, I'm not doing it again. I think that a lot of these women nowadays are liabilities, not assets compared to like Rita. I mean, I don't know y'all's wives like that, but I know Rita. So I think it is a risk for y'all. It's more of a risk for y'all to get married because of how I'm seeing these women moving. And y'all wouldn't need it because, as I said, these women will do what you want, cook, clean, give you head, whatever, without the ring. So why? And it's never going to be a shortage of head. You got to It's never going to be a shortage of head. Right, you gotta study oh, that. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta it's study somebody's right. background, though. Wait, where do you push it? Is you see, I'm lost because at one point you said anything. No, because at one point y'all saying marriage, 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 marriage. Then now yeah. you're talking about get, getting domed up. That's not <laughs> what we said. You gonna say, say to me <laughs> yeah. that getting domed up is is wrong? Logic, you need to get married. Right. Like, no, Q, Q said. Q said, and again, you can't speak to individuals. You got to speak to the point that she said. She said that it's women that are cooked, clean, whatever, give you head, whatever, so on and so forth. And I'm saying, yeah, it's never going to be a shortage for a dude to be able to get some head. Like, that's not a that's not a hard thing to do for a guy. Oh, maybe Especially if you bout some. So, look, here's, here's the thing, man. You can't sit here and act like he said that. We talking about after the fact. The things that are going to be important to us if, if God forbid something happened in our current situation, after the fact, all those other little intangibles, that's fine. But rebuilding a situation like this again and, and building a whole new empire, why bother? I'm yeah, good. I'm going to stick with this. So, so why bother? And you said you'll stay and you'll get in the field to just bust bitches down then, right? That's not what I said. I, 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 hey, I, 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 I'm I, saying, I, look, I, I'm saying I'm not getting married again. That's okay. that. So if you're not getting married, then what are you doing? Shit. You don't turn gay. Play the field. Play the field. Do whatever you want. Come on, bro. Logic is wild. No, I, I, no. He said, on, okay, man. now you go, if you say something. Relax, God relax. Forbid, you know what marriage, said? Uh, if you say, God forbid, something happened in your marriage, right? It cr- mm-hmm. whatever, right? You say you're not doing it again, and you just going to play I'm not getting married again. Correct. Okay, but isn't that what you're... You know what? This is retarded, boy. Y'all niggas. I think. I think. I think. What no, happened. no, no. Wait. Well, let me ask you. When did I say anything else? Like it's an issue. No, what do you I, mean, bro? Like, yeah. Not I you. I'm not talking happened. to you, Queen. Okay. No, I was just saying. I think what happened was we were talking about the the question in today's time, and then the married guys are talking about because you guys are married, you're speaking from your marital perspective and not the perspective of if you are out in the field right now. Let's talk about the dating pool or how you would navigate it if you weren't married, maybe. I think that's mm-hmm. a confusion. Like I what think logic, logic I, I would though. No. I wouldn't but no, but, a lot of know they, what? if they said they wasn't married and they was they wasn't married today, they would be doing the exact same thing I'm doing. But then they'll say what well, I'm no, doing. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. They don't they don't have to be well, logic, you just said you're not having sex. So this nigga just said he'll be playing the field. What do playing the field mean? Who said that they would be? What did I say? He said I, I said I would if I wasn't married, but what's wrong with that? Uh, maybe he I said what are we saying? That's what, what are we saying? saying? You see how these niggas double talk? This crazy. <laughs> no, I'm trying to see nigga what you talking about. When did I say that was the issue? I just said my whole statement was if something happened, I'm not getting married again. I won't like I've done this. This is my my one time, this is my one time thing. That's it. After that, it, it is what it is. I ain't say it was no issue with what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? If you want to frolic in the in the streets and you know what I'm saying, do what you do. Yeah, that I don't. I don't think that being single, like, I don't look at you niggas and be like, I don't look at Quentin and Logic and be like, oh my god, that's the life I want to live. <laughs> like, I don't know why y'all think what y'all live, how y'all live. I mean, and it's y'all. Y'all could do whatever y'all want to do. Congratulations, yeah. but I don't look at y'all and be like. Oh, that's fun. That's cool. Like y'all lifestyle is not the way that y'all move from a dating perspective. The, the stories that Quentin tell, that shit don't look cool to me. Um, <laughs> what stories do I tell? No, no, no. Look, I mean, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's just keep it. Since Logic want to keep it all the way funky, right? Keep it funky. 
What the fuck is Quentin's lifestyle that he's talking about? What he's going what through? What lifestyle that are you talking about? What? No, 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 no. Quentin's lifestyle that he describes to us from a dating perspective is shit. Wild. Why? What makes y'all think that we admire what the fuck y'all got going on? Who is what y'all are you referring to? Quentin and, and Logic. Oh, okay. What have I right. done? So is me and Quentin the only single people on this panel? No. Guys. Y'all the single man. We talking about men. I'm just saying, like, y'all be, y'all no, paint the no, picture, no. like, because if y'all, like, y'all, are Quentin, y'all, y'all you hearing the shit that you be talking about, you talking to a fucking geriatric <laughs> woman and, and fucking baby mama. Chicks. Yo, the shit that you be describing is wild to me. That shit ain't cool. Quinn's stories be wild. It's a new chick every 90 days. It's like he goes through a probation period and then it's a whole different yeah, chick. Well, I got a breath of motherfucking to get inside. What you mean? That's a stressful life, man. That's a stressful life. <laughs> it's a what? It's a stressful life. It, I'm not stressed at all, nigga. I'll have zero stress in my life, bro. No, I'm talking about in regards to... Yeah, no, you, 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 you like, like Quinn. Quinn, Clark, Quinn I was going to let him lie to you. This if you was in the street, I just walked her like two months ago. Yeah, yeah, listen, right. Clark, here's, here's, here's the difference. Clark, she was crazy. He, he, he think that it's normal because he's used to organized chaos. Yeah. We not, we, we, we not used to that shit. We're used to I don't have no chaos in my life. But you blocked him. Quentin. It was my mama, nigga. It was one of these girls. What you talking about? No, Quinn. Right. Quinn, that chick. No, the the chick was What's that the, you brought to the meetup. She was nigga, doing that was in May. Nigga. Oh, the whole six no, months ago. Though. Yo, but yo, see, yo, but no, but some people think like chaotic shit uh, is a norm. Chaotic this is not personal is business. He expressed this shit on the panel. This is this this is he said it on the panel. He didn't say it. This is the issue I have. I know you said on the panel. This issue I have, right? See, this panel talk, I speak from real life. My homeboy just came here up to Germany. And the first thing he said is, let's go to Amsterdam. Where the hoes at? I think you married. Now, look, wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on. Now, look, this is not just one of my homeboys. This is literally damn near all of them. Yeah, so you, like, you run with some wild niggas. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas, like I said. And you, you throwing like your homeboys under the bus. Y'all live in this YouTube <laughs> bubble. <laughs> that y'all part. Because He's I throwing his homies under the bus, watching. too. Dude, <laughs> I pray shout out to all, all of your married homies, homies that just come straight. Oh. <laughs> this is a problem. This is a problem. Wait, look. Not, not, not my nigga Quest. Look. Y'all live in this YouTube bubble. Right after he said all of them. Hey, Quest brought the only one. But look, I'm just saying, y'all live in this bubble, man. And like I said, it sounds good if this was reality, but reality is saying something so different. What are you talking about? Anton Anton said the other day that uh a majority of these marriages is like his. Every married nigga is living super, super dope. I didn't right? say did every. Say, wait, wait, wait. Logic is did, crazy. He, did he say that last week? I you, said you every said marriage is just like mine. I said every yeah, one said, of them. You said majority. You said majority. Yeah, I was, but I didn't I say every. See. You can't no, put no, no. words in my mouth. said majority. Oh, okay. All right. You said majority, right? But I'm like this. Where they at? I don't see them. You don't hang with everything. All of your dudes is coming over there and saying, Let me finish. Hold on, let me finish. Okay, my bad. I see the exact opposite of what y'all talk about. And it really make me start to believe you niggas just get up here and talk shit. (laughs) Because I guarantee you, the right pussy get in your face, you niggas gonna fold. (laughs) Just like me. (laughs) And y'all can say what y'all want to say. But when boots hit the ground and, mm-hmm. and, and we hit the street, niggas fold. There's so many sex scandals on YouTube with all these niggas in these relationships or so-called everything. But these you ain't not married. Ne- you ain't, and listen, not married you ain't never, Jesus. ever in your life. And yes, if there was ever anybody that was ever out there, 
you know that my whole brand is based off of my integrity and how it is that I move when it comes to my relationship. Any woman out there, feel free to come up here and say any kind of shit that I didn't move wrong with. You if gotta, it was out there, it would have already surfaced. You got to remove yourself from the I concept. Can't know. Because, you okay, can't. so I got to remove no, myself. Gosh, what you saying is you spoke for the majority of marriages. I'm not talking. I'm well, not you talking. Said, you, said, you, you said you, you said we gonna so fold. Check it out. You said we gonna fold. So check, no, right. No, I, I, so I check it out. Check know. out. Bro, Facts and law pod. So we talk about this shit all the time on the show, nigga. Like on my show, and my co-host is married too, bro. Like, okay. look, just a hey, quiet as kept. Bro. Niggas out here really I, I on their shit. Know you listen, what I'm saying. I said YouTube and reality. Do y'all, can y'all not agree that it's a difference how niggas say they move on YouTube and how they move in real life? Oh, I can agree with that. That's all I'm saying. I agree with that. Do you see that? Do you see niggas walking around with these YouTube talking points as a badge mm -hmm. of honor? They say, oh, you got 10 bodies? I'm not fucking with you. But you know, the interesting thing about that though, Clark, is that you can make the same argument for the niggas that's single acting like they fucking everything and they over there using their hand every day, right? That's true. That's you true. can you can use the same argument on both sides. He can sit here and say, well, all of the married guys that's on YouTube or whatever, they're not really like that, or the majority of them. And then I can be over here and say, well, I see all of you niggas on Fight Club every night with no hoes right next to you. And so what the fuck is y'all doing, right? So mm -hmm. it, it's a moot point. It's no, it's not, it's not mute. Point. You know why it's not mute? Because I agree. I agree. Half of the niggas get up here, they just say shit. Half of the niggas in the chat, they just say shit. They go along with these talking points. Ain't no common sense. The shit that we discuss do not match reality. That's all I'm saying. My reality is exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. And I'm not going to let logic try to prevent me from being an example because my life is an open book. And I have no problem exactly talking exactly my talk and sharing it and living it and being a reflection of the thing that i advocate for it is what it is i don't think your lifestyle is the majority of people maybe because shout out to my dog see, steph is cold of course not shout out to steph I'm trying to get him on the show he being a little scary no i'm just kidding but <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> y'all y'all niggas just trying to throw me under the bus shit i wouldn't come for no more either, niggas. <laughs> I'm going to turn about two weeks down this shit. No, but I don't think your marriage and your loyalty to your wife is the majority of marriages. I don't I don't think so. Maybe because what we see I on do. social... You're, you're basing I, I it see, on your I know circle. guys. I know a ton of guys. I have marriage parties. I know a ton of guys that is living exactly like me. Is it the majority not, of men? Not only that, but guys, majority of men in the states, in the U.S. So I think that the majority of men the thing, are married. Though. See, the, here's the difference. It's almost Go like it. it's like trash culture, right? The loudest ones in the room is usually the ones that try to act like they're the majority. Is just that it's like Black Twitter, right? Black Black Twitter is going to be toxic, but then at the same time, Black Twitter is not necessarily not necessarily a reflection of everybody and what black people operate like in regular life. And so if you if you go and you look at the majority of the people that's married, whether they having problems or whatever or not, right? That's not the majority of the people that you may know that is married. A lot of guys that's married, they go home, they go to work, they come home, they shut the fuck up, they be chilling, they enjoy their family, and their life is very, very programmed. It's very, very mundane. You can You can probably predict that they wife can probably predict what they're going to do what time they're going to wake up if they're going to get in the shower that night if they're going to be tired what they're going to want to eat what their favorite food is if they're going to play video games where he going to be at and what time he going to get home at they can probably program it all the way to a t most guys that are married live that life that is their norm but because they're quiet, because they don't say anything, because they're just chilling in the background, because they may be watching a the show, then they may not necessarily be typing in the chat. It may seem like the majority of the people is completely different. That's not true. It's a lot of women that's not on in the chat. They watch the show and they just chilling in the background. It's a lot of men that just watch the show and they be chilling and they ain't, never, they ain't necessarily having no problems. 
So a lot of people like that. Y'all just don't necessarily know them. 